Hello there, welcome back to some more Borderlands 3. In the last episode, what we did was we uh, went to a wedding venue and Rainwright got super screwed up. Hello. Help me mix. Darkness itself. The wedding DJ requires sounds, sinister sounds. I go by DJ Midnight. Game time. You need to spin dark dirt in the mix, malevolent melodies in the name of undying love. But my samples are stale, putrid. Insufferable. I require new samples. Record some sinister sounds for me. Yeah. No problem. I used to play piano, you know. I was uh, pretty damn good. Excellent. And so our dark journey begins. We hunt for the sinister sound. Take that echo recorder, my trusty conductor. <gasps> okay, we'll do. A customer left the lodge without paying his tab. Mancubus prides himself on hospitality. The debts must always be settled. A moment of your time. The rules of the lodge must be respected. The lodge only wants to provide hospitality, but I am afraid there are still some who abuse their guest privileges. A young man named Gideon has made off with a selection of... Exotic wines without paying his tab. If you could find him, the lodge would be ever so grateful. Okay, Kim came in from the room in need of shelter. He asked for something to blind him from the things he had seen. Of course, I had just the claret for him. He took to it well, too well, it seems. Three golden aces gets you a legendary weapon. Three vault stones gets you a vault key. Money, money, money is lots of money. Banana, banana, banana is a legendary. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm interested. Right, okay. Hello. Just so you know, it's also cursed. No. Kidding. What now? Go out and find some unholy percussion. My desire is to shake the skeletons of my ancestors, as well as the living guests. Go to Skittermore Basin. No problem. I'd love to. Talk to me about my face. I'm very sensitive about my face. <laughs> right. A sinister sound requires unholy percussions. The crack of <sighs> bones should do. Secure a cacophonous conveyance and sample some frost biters. Be sure to crush them within a canyon. The reverberating echoes will be. Divine. Run over some bandits. Okay. I did it again. Every time the same shit. I always do that. I'm like, yeah, go back. That'll that's my setup. I'm happy with that. And then I just don't press go. It just
We got all the things that increase my ramming damage so I can murder people real good. Kill Prime Wolven. Okay. No problem. The Centurion shall do it. Let's use this thing and blow myself up, shall I? It's a bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. I am the greatest. That's the one who screams, isn't it? A lost one's wails torn between this world and another. That will allow my sinister sound to transcend this mortal plane. <coughs> the Excuse frostbiter me. banshee. <coughs> ah, use the bell. Yes. Defend yourself unless you want to end up in my dark mix. Fully and this thing's kind of nutty. For real, for real, this thing's insane. Bring the banshee to my camp. I want to sample her blood curdling cry. I knew it. My rival, DJ Spinsmith, stole the banshee. Not DJ Spinsmith. to go over there so I might as well go get into the car I suppose. Do -be -do -be 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 -do. Another rank for me. More luck. 8%. I'm getting there. And I also unlocked this. Action school, uh, skill cooldown rate increased to all of them at full shield. Increases luck for 10 seconds after each kill. 
When an enemy's take 5% more damage per unique status effect afflicting them. I might not get to that one though before I beat the game. In fact, I'd say it's highly unlikely that I will, but we'll see. Okay. There's a car here, yes. Where I left my car. I want to get back in it to see if I can get the game to remember that this is the car I want to use rather than the, the wheel. It looks nasty, this thing. Mainly the meat grinder on the foot. It's the sort of thing Americans drive nowadays. Some big 10 foot tall thing that a small child can completely hide behind in, underneath the windscreen, which is very scary, by the way. They haven't become a big thing yet. We're really just getting sort of like pickup trucks and things now. The regular ones. And even they aren't suited for our roads. Our roads layout that does not make sense for vehicles of that size. Christ village. Yeah, sometimes I get like a super laser, and the super laser does way more damage. Come on, more, more! Drop the beat on him and his insidious followers. You must be DJ Midnight's assistant. Well, she's a hellacious hack, an audio amateur, a nefarious novice. She can't handle the banshees well, but maybe she can sample your scream instead. You better than that. I'm afraid I shan't give you the satisfaction. My apologies. It's only because his defense is so low, but half a million damage is real good. be a gift or something over here. Umbrella. Those weapons really, really aren't worth taking because they're worth so little, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. Let's rock. Let's rock in this biatch. Oh yeah. They're coming for me. They are. <laughs> A wedding present alert. There's one nearby. You gotta grab it. There is. Where? Ah. 
Yeah. Shan't be bested again. By platforming. Sorry. I wonder if I can... Some of this stuff I can play again. A lot of it I can't, but... No. Alright. Would you mind screaming into this cursed recorder? <coughs> Again, please. You remind me of my time in the ring. No problem, but first, I need to find Gideon while I'm here. While I'm out and about, you know. Maps this big were really made for a car, but I'm just lazy and don't want to go get one. The problem I've got is I can't even slightly hit an, a car. With one of my weapons, it'll just explode if I so much as look at it in a funny way. But I'm heading in the right direction. There's definitely going to be a come back and clean up at the end of the DLC sort of situation. Mostly because I don't want to do it now. thinking of level 13 oh yes i'll just swap my shield out that would be better no no gideon you wish to say taste death Huh? Hmm. The top of this complex, okay. Sorry, so you spooked me. Okay, now that carries on, so I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to go that way to carry on and see what's over there. Because I might have to anyway. Shapes 
refreshing ward. Quite resourceful. Even drained, those bottles contain a form of power. You will have to smash them to break the wall around the house. Oh, the shapes! I can see them again! Too many corners, not enough sides. Cut off the corners! Cut off the corners! Oh yes, I'm afraid so. Maybe this is the tent of both hell. Ah, over there. Without the safety provided by the bottles, it seems he has lost whatever vestige of humanity remained. Still, the lodge's tab must be Sad, really. A thousand gratitudes. You are ever our valued guest. The Lodge will remember. You're welcome. You don't have to say it quite like that, but you're welcome. I must see what's over here. I must know. And then I'll walk back to the lodge. I'm thinking this is as good a place as any for a big boss monster. It seems like it might not be where he is, but that's fine. I mean, this continues on for a little bit yet, so still got hope. Oh, what point? Yes, very good. Plan Amoret. Okay, so this is like an actual story place. That's fine. All right, let's walk back to the lodge then. Could just use the map menu, I'm aware. I'm not gonna, but I could. Right. The lodge. Yes. Bounty hunting and a band of outlaws, huh? I've always wanted to star in a western. Let's do it! Hello there. Welcome back to me. A warning. This may drive you mad if you're not mad already. <laughs> I do. Evil, the sinister song may call to our presence. I want a live grenade at the slot machine.
Okay. Right. Sorry. Um, let's go... Speak to Mancubus. Hello, friend. I'm afraid the young grew to be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some rogue wearing punks with bad manners, and the vault hunter and I had to be the sense of decorum in to them. Nothing more to worry about. Wainwright, Beta, could I see that ring for a moment? Oh, sure, of course. The vessel has been chosen. It's only a matter of time. Really? What are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know. But I do feel a bit... Uh, sideways. It is as I fear. Another moment of your time in the At... The counter. Yes. Beyond mortal comprehension. The Lord is slowing the effect to a degree, but the outcome is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it, or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering secrets. A detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origin. Look for him at his agency, the Eyewitness. Your actions must have stirred the bond in him to fight the frenzy. Yeah. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be comfortable. Oh. Portable. Vegetable. Okay. Curse Haven, let's go back and find out about this private Bounty detective. And a band of outlaws, huh? I've always wanted to star in a western. Let's do it. I look every time. I never find anything, but I always look. Now, my question is... Oh dear. They have become sparkly again, which means I have to remember which ones I've done and which ones I haven't done. Sheep. It's this way. Joseph, you've gone the wrong way, you silly bitch. Uh, I'm sorry. I like you, Flapjap. I don't want you to die. Everyone else is kind of a bit more nonplussed about the whole thing, but I... Reload fast enough that I don't lose a load of uh, spinning. Which is good. Guardian Angel, get me back up. Be 
going. Busy. So it doesn't matter how many, whether you click a duplicate or not. Good to know. Ding dong. The detective isn't answering. Perhaps the nearby townsfolk have seen him. Alright. Hey, I'm Gaddy. But please don't talk to me. Every time I speak, I have to. Hold on. Just don't puke on my shoes and we won't have a problem. Do you know where Burton Briggs might be? Ah, damn it. They're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. There we go again. See, ah, what did I just say? Watch the shoes. Also, thank you. Sure thing. You're very welcome. Whoops, I think. <laughs> Doesn't it be very pleasant? <gasps> Holy crap! You scared the bequeezes out of me. What do you want? Uh, I'm tracking down one Burton Briggs. Got anything for me? <sighs> I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate. Look, I saw Burton with. <sighs> what did you. Did you just. No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Leave me alone. I'm. What was that? Nothing? Okay. Hello, Gina. Please don't be weird. Please don't be weird. Hello? Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! You're going to want to watch your tone. Now tell me where I can find Burton Briggs before I lose my temper. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery, like an idiot! Now get out of my face! You know, when I'm angry, I usually just punch a cement truck. Maybe try that. Bye! Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry! <laughs> So angry. Eternal now, is it? Right. Hello. I was gonna say it's a weekly because it's like I haven't killed 250 people with weapons from Jacobs before. Surely I have. Mission update! I found the shipwreck and snuck into the captain's quarters. Oh, 
quarters. Past a horde of unspeakable fleshy horrors. There, I found a skeleton key possessed by the spirit of a keel-hauled stowaway named Paul. He's now guiding me through a dark wood to the spire of racking despair. He's actually going to find this thing, isn't he? So that's all the things done, but of course I'm missing loads of, uh, there could be quests, there could be locations. name is Bert. No, nope, that's not right. Burton it is. So, what's your story, friend? My friend is, uh, like, cursed by a ring? I'm looking for more info. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here. This key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. Thank you. Key to the just bound archives. When do I had that? As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old uh, lonesome shop. Opens as the gate. Yeah, that gate now should be open. Working together, here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. I'm good. You don't have to. It all started. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know I'm searching for something. Answers to questions I've already forgotten. Wait, what was I saying? Ah, never mind. You're busy. Just between us, Vault Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but now we are embroiled in occult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. It's the wedding I hope this dreamed of. I'm still wrestling with this mystery, but I really don't know whether I go by bird or bird. Aubrey's a bound. Shield me, almighty inanimate children! Mediocre. Let's see how those... Do I go by button? Shade Mallet. Any 
uh, people living here. No, at least not that I've seen. The Dustbound Archives. I'll see you guys next time when we go to the Dustbound Archives and find out what the hell's going on there. Probably another map, probably quite large. We'll find out. See you then. Goodbye.